Hey, what's going on guys? So earlier today at the time of recording this video, the uh, Cassette Beast YouTube channel just uploaded a brand new trailer showcasing some of the overworld elements of the game. I've been desperately craving some new gameplay footage, so of course when this came out I was super excited. Anyways, let's break it down. So just before we jump in, for those of you who don't know, Cassette Beast is an open world monster taming RPG focusing on fusions, branched evolutions, and a dynamic overworld. The game situates you on a strange island and you must team up to escape. You can check out the full trailer linked in the description or any of my previous Cassette Beast videos. I'll link a playlist in the description as well. But anyways, now that you know what we're dealing with, let's check out this trailer. So in the background, you can see those snakes. Now, if you don't know, these snakes are called Carnaviper and are somewhat of a recently revealed cassette beast that evolves in a masquerade. So interestingly, lifting that rock did something to the box. It looks almost like a toolbox or something. They don't actually end up interacting with it. So I'm not really sure what happens with that. But I think it's really cool that they're going to have little puzzles and stuff like that, like sort of situated around the world. With this game being a sort of 2.5D title, I'm really interested in how the open world aspect is going to play out. It really intrigues me if I'm being honest. Okay, so here we see uh, some sort of hookshot ability using lightning. We've seen this with uh, the gliding already as well. I'm assuming that since humans are actually able to transform into the cassette beasts, um, you know, having caught in certain types maybe will affect which abilities you have. Sort of like HMs, but I guess a more updated, more convenient version. So here we see that, yeah, there's advanced environmental interactions within the game, which opens up a crap ton of possibilities from a world design perspective as well. Imagine having a ledge that you can't reach without one of those rocks, but there aren't any rocks nearby, so you have to maybe find one from really far away or in a hidden chasm or something like that. So in the back here, we can also see that there's another cassette beast that has been revealed in the past. It was revealed alongside Masquerade. And at first I thought it was a new cassette beast, but one of the devs did confirm that the reason the color of this one is a little different is just because of lighting. Also, with regards to the gliding mechanic, it seems to function similarly to that of Spyro. I guess to compare, uh, I'd say like Seasons of Fire or Seasons of Ice or whichever the, the Game Boy games, um, they allow you to slowly descend and have sort of free control where you glide. It's the same in the 3D titles, but it's a little easier to compare uh, that style of game to this style of game. This is another really interesting mechanic from a world design perspective as well, because you can have like, let's say, really high ledges and maybe a lower ledge that you can reach by gliding, but you're going to have to glide like around the base of a mountain or something. It adds a lot of interesting spots that you wouldn't otherwise be able to access without said system. You can also see that on top of the player's head is some sort of stamina meter. Uh, so I'm curious if that's going to be upgraded to allow you to reach previously unreachable places or if it's just a set amount. So what's interesting here is that we don't see what cassette beast that is specifically, but if I had to guess, I'd say probably a spring heel just based off of its ears. Uh, it seems to get excited when it sees you, but doesn't end up going after you. So I'm really curious to see what that's about. And then in that case, the Carnaviper sees you and then runs away. So I'm assuming there will be very different reactions depending on the type of cassette beast that you end up going near or perhaps uh, it's random. I I'm not sure if it'll be specific to the cassette beast itself or if it'll be something that, you know, uh, it's, it's just random. Like, you know, this Masquerade happens to want to run away, but some might run to you or if it's going to be every Masquerade or rather Carnaviper, because that's what that is, that'll uh, run away or, or whatever. You, you guys get what I'm trying to say here. I, I don't know if it's going to be species specific or if it's going to be just random. So this puzzle here is really interesting as well. Uh, you can see there's the four buttons. So I'm assuming you'll have to bring those barrels from before, if you remember when we were uh, jumping on top of the rocks, uh, and that'll sort of let you open up the cave. 
again, this type of stuff is really cool because it adds depth to the game. I honestly love stuff like this. Okay, so a couple things here. First, you can see uh, the dynamic weather system. So, you know, you see Evil Boy over there, it starts raining. But this isn't the first time we've seen one of those demon things. Uh, if you remember in the original uh, Cassepi's trailer, it showcased one as well. And I use it in my outro, if you guys paid attention. Um, I'm curious as to what these things even are. And if they are, I'm assuming that they're related to the main story. But who knows, perhaps there could be like a side quest involved with like hunting these down. Um... They look very story relevant to me, but you never know. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys think about these things. Well, what do you think uh, is going on? We, we got an island that you're trying to escape and you have these demon-like things uh, keeping you bound. My assumption here is that they represent like nightmares or something and you, you have to escape from like this dream because if you remember in the original Cassette Beast trailer, you see someone like descending into the island in what almost looks like a sleep gown. So I'm wondering if you have to like conquer these nightmares or something to that extent. We'll see in the future. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, the trailer just ends here with this uh, evil guy. We'll, we'll take it right to the end. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys uh, think of this uh, overworld trailer. How does cassette beast resonate with you i think it's a very interesting title i love the 2.5d perspective the open world idea um I, i'm not i've never been a huge uh like i never really cared about bonding and stuff but it, it will be very interesting to see how you can bond with different characters i mean the fusions are going to be exciting there's branched evolution so it's pretty much much got everything I, I like how the world is uh laid out and i like the uh graphical style so let me know what you guys think about cassette beasts and uh, yeah, with all that being said, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my uh, Patreon, Twitter, and Discord, all links in the description. And until next time, peace.